Hi everyone, welcome to part two. Hopefully if you've hopefully you've watched part one and you're back here um, to watch part two. So we're gonna now create the wrinkles on the pug's face. You can't have a pug without wrinkles. So I'm using the same colour as the acrylic we used to create the base. I'm sorry about the background noise. It's hot and the window is wide open. I'm at my mum's and she lives on a pretty busy road, so apologies. So as you can see, I've just shaped one of the wrinkles to go around the pug's eyes. So in a, this is going to—it's another way of helping the eye stick to the nail um, because we've wrapped the acrylic around it. We're going to do exactly the same to the other side. So we're going to put a small bead on, and we're just going to mould it so that it contours the pug's eye. Is that the right word? Is that a good word? Contour. <laughs> so that's what you should have your pug looking like so far. So now we're going to put a wrinkle um, going from the nose area up to the top and we're going to put two of these next to each other so make sure you leave a little bit of room you'll see what I'm, I'm doing in a minute so I'm trying to also kind of blend the ends into the the base of the pug's head as well just so it doesn't look um, just I can't I'm so sorry absolutely awful at explaining um, but you want the wrinkles to kind of blend into the face so they don't look just like lines I hope you know what I mean <laughs> so now we're, we're obviously doing that other side And then just carefully trying to blend the top of the wrinkle out and then we're gonna add um, another small bead in the corner where the wrinkles meet just to try and create one more little wrinkle there might be another better way of doing this uh, this is just how I done it um, I did this is this I did I've, I'd already tried to do a pug now before this this was my second attempt and the first one looked really angry he looked like a really scary grumpy pug <laughs> this one looks a little bit happier which I was quite pleased about so you can see we're doing exactly the same in the opposite corner just trying to kind of blend that wrinkle out Then using the black acrylic, we're gonna add a little bit more detail to the pug's uh, mouth area. So ideally I would have liked to have done this with a really dark brown, but I ended up using the black. So we're now gonna create, I don't even know what we'd call it, um, the bit that hangs over the mouth. I'm not sure that that's, that's right. But I'm just going to put two black lines either side of the nose using black acrylic. So doing the same now on the opposite side. I'm so relieved in these videos you can actually see what I'm doing because if you listen to the voiceover without the picture you'd be like I have no idea what she's on about. <laughs> Now I'm going to go back in with some more black and I'm going to kind of, it's its like I'm kind of creating almost, it almost looks like a moustache, but it's not supposed to be a moustache. Of black 
and we're going to now create the pug's uh, chin or jaw, bottom of the jaw. Um, so just make sure you leave a bit of a gap between the uh, top, the like the moustache looking bit that we did and the chin, just so that it looks like the, um, oh, it's more like the, the dog's lips, just so it looks like it's kind of hanging over its bottom jaw. I hope that makes sense now. So it should look something like that. Then I'm just going in with the chalk brown and I'm using it as a bit of a wash and I am popping it into the wrinkles. I just wanted to kind of darken this area up because obviously where you've got the folds of skin, they do look a little bit darker where it's created some shadow. So if you feel like it's too dark, just wet your brush uh, with some Monoma and just go in and try and just sort of blend it all out. So this is what he looks like so far. He is absolutely cute. And then every dog needs a bone to play with. So using the Mega White Acrylic from Neo, I'm just gonna use my brush to mold out a bone. So on the ends we're going to create like kind of like heart shapes aren't they to create those little um the knobbly bits that are on the end of each uh you know if you saw like a cartoon bone it has like little knobbly bits on the end <laughs> So there we go, that is our 3D pug with um, his bone. <laughs> I hope you have liked this video, um, if you did please leave me a like, if you haven't already do, already, do consider subscribing um, and as always I'll see you all in the next one, thanks for watching, bye!